Hi, Jeremy here with 3D Universe. In this video, I'm going to take you through the unboxing and initial setup of the new Ultimaker S5 Pro bundle. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have the material station, and it's all uh, shipped fully assembled. All we need to do is remove these four plastic locking clips, and then the lid lifts off. There's some foam padding here. We've got our accessory cables and some hard copy documentation. Put it over to the side. And the rest is the material station itself, which we'll just lift out here. So there's the material station component. Now we'll go ahead and unbox the air manager. Okay, and now we have the air manager here. Same deal, this comes fully assembled, four locking plastic clips. And once again, everything nicely packaged, fully assembled. Got some foam packaging here that we'll remove. Here's the mounting bracket, which gets installed first. We have accessories, box, the filter, the fan unit, and some more packaging, and the top cover. this out of the way so we can assemble this. Okay, so we're going to start the assembly process. Now, it's critically important that you make sure that the firmware on your Ultimaker S5 has been updated to the latest available version before you connect the material station and air manager. I've already done that firmware update, so we're all ready to go here. I've got these turned around backwards because I'm going to want to show you the cable hookups on the back once we uh, get them on top of each other. So here's the material station. I'm just going to lift the S5 on top of that. table here. As you can see, they just sit right on top of each other. No hardware required to connect these two units. And uh, on the back, we can see uh, these Bowden tube cables on the material station. These are going to connect up to the feeder mechanisms on the S5. Uh, and uh, we're going to remove the spool holder on the S5. And then we're going to connect the other cables, which I'll take you through in a moment. So first I'll get rid of the spool holder here. The S5 is turned off, of course. You'll want to make sure that's the case while you're doing this. So there's the spool holder. I'm going to replace that with the cover cap that they provide. Okay, so they do provide a couple of little locking collets for the uh, Bowden tubes. Those will go under here on the bottom side of the feeder. So for the Bowden tubes, they're numbered here. You'll notice there's a one over here, which corresponds to feeder number one, and a two here, which corresponds to feeder number two. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna start with number two just because it's closer to me. And so this is going to feed up here into this feeder. To do that, I need one of these little locking collets in here. And the Bowden tube goes in. I can you can feel it sort of lock into place there. And then one of these little horseshoe clips goes into that locking collet to secure it in place. Nice and firmly inserted. Now we'll do the same thing for number one. Okay, now we've got our Bowden tubes there. Okay, I'm gonna come around the other side here for the power. So the nice thing about the design here is the power cable gets daisy chained. So it'll go from down here, up here to the S5. And then there's a little clip here to secure it in place. And the cable to the outlet will go into the material station here. I'm not going to plug it in right now. And that is because the material station actually stays on all the time. There is no power switch on this, and that's so that it can maintain the humidity level for your filaments at all times. 
the S5 will continue to switch on and off with the same power switch as usual. Now we have our UMB cable. This is the Ultimaker bus, and this will go to the UMB in on the material station, to the UMB out on the S5. And then our air manager, once we get that up on top, is going to connect to the UMB out port on the material station. If we were not using the material station, if you opted just to get the air manager, then in that case, your air manager would plug directly into the UMB out on the S5. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our air manager components now. Okay, now we have all of our air manager accessories out, and first we're going to put on the mounting bracket. It's just a single piece. Set this aside. Okay, so now the mounting bracket fits over the back, and we want to fit our Bowden tubes into these slots on the side, along with the power cable here, signal cable. And then lower this down. And as you can hear, it clicks right into place. No tools required, no screws to worry about, it just snaps together. Okay, now the fan unit. This also snaps into place. There we go, you can hear that snap in as well. All right, now we are going to get these other two boxes out. The accessories box has our UMB cable, which we'll get to last, and it also has a couple of uh, removal tools. Because of the way the mounting bracket locks into place, you can slide these up here to disconnect those, to disengage the locking mechanisms if you need to remove this, but you typically don't need to remove that. If you needed to move the printer around, you can leave the, the cover on, or you can just remove the, the acrylic cover, but leave the mounting bracket in place, so you don't often have to disconnect that. This box has the filter, okay, and now the filter goes on here, just like that, okay, and now all we need to do is put the cover on, for that I'm going to turn this around again so you can see what's happening. You can see here there's a square opening that's going to fit right over the fan here, so we're just going to lift this into place. And you can hear that click into place when it's positioned properly. Now this is on a hinged uh, connector here, so you can open the lid like this if needed to get access to the top of the printer. Okay, and now last we have our UMB cable for the air manager. So we're going to connect this just underneath the fan module. And there is a tension relief mechanism here that we will connect to it. And then you want to slide that up to take up as much of that extra room as possible. And now this comes down, and in our case, we're going to connect to the UMB out on the material station. If you're not using the material station, it would go right into the UMB out on the Ultimaker S5 itself. That's the fully assembled Ultimaker S5 Pro Bundle. Well, and there you have it. As you can see, it's really easy to unbox and set up the new Ultimaker S5 Pro Bundle. I hope you'll check out our website to learn more. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to see future videos. See you next time.